welcome to our Trader Joe's Christmas Holiday Taste Test. I uh, ventured into Trader Joe's alone, which don't Dangerous. let me do it again, um, and wanted to try all of their Christmas items because a lot of the time I can't eat the Christmas items, but most of this is dairy-free, gluten-free. The chocolate's not dairy-free, but that's okay for my taste in my stomach. Um, so we have Katie here, my roommate, if you don't know, and we are going to taste test some of these. Some of these we have had before, but we're going to talk about them and rate them, I guess. That would make sense. Yeah. So I bought this last weekend and have been extremely tempted to try everything. And the only thing I could get myself to like kind of dive into is the one thing I can reseal. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the mini peppermint meringues. I don't think I've ever had a meringue before. I, I can't remember the last time I had a meringue. Is it like a normal like thing that we just don't have? Um, it is basically sugar, egg whites, and peppermint candy. Um, I feel like usually have meringues like on top of things. Like what? Like pie. Like meringue pie. Is it like a cream? or no, like meringue it's is literally, like a candy. literally egg white. No, it's like on top of like a pie. Like when you make like um, like lemon pies, a lot of the time there's like meringue on top. Like when you know when you said the white and it looks yeah. toasted, that's meringue. Hmm. Well, I have had these before all week, but we're gonna try them. Would you like to pick one? Oh yeah, thanks. Coven. Okay. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with peppermint. And just mint in general. And would like the bags of like the starlight mints mm, that are like the like... red and white, I just like eat them all day and let them melt in my mouth. And I feel like these are like them. Very similar. Mm -hmm. I like these. Those are good. I rate them. Ready? My dog wants them. Um, ready out of five? I said sure. this is five out of five. So the next one we got is the chocolate orange, dark chocolate orange. And you've had these before. I I get them every Christmas. I had heard of them from I think Zoe's vlogs, mm -hmm. from a uh, British YouTuber's vlogs, and I always thought they were literally an orange. Cause that like a chocolate They're orange. Like I thought British it was like thing. like a, you know like the Queen Anne yeah, like chocolates with, cherries, with the cherry. Yeah. I thought it was like that with orange, and yeah. I was like I don't love oranges, but like I mm. like chocolate, and it's literally like a chocolate candy orange it's shaped like an orange yeah it's just, it's just chocolate that sh tape that has like chocolate flavor or um it's kind of orange, orange flavor chocolate. it's yeah. orange chocolate and it's shaped like an orange Blah. okay see it says break then open i don't know if that's gonna focus no. that's so cool you're okay. supposed to slam them so like you slam it you like do it and that like breaks it that like makes it into pieces educating the world that's so world. wild and then that's what makes it like break apart Ooh. it's because you slammed it love that that's a lot of like chocolate i know i ate a whole one the other week yeah i have like little orange slices there you go do the beauty guru thing <laughs> no it's not gonna work okay mm. i do love it uh is this dark chocolate or milk chocolate dark chocolate mm. that good good mm-hmm I rate this to a five out of five. Mm-hmm. For sure. So the next one that I got is a gluten-free Italian. Say it. Say it. Panettone. I don't know what it. It's like an no, Italian, um, like baked good. P A N E. Panetto. Panet. Panettone. Panettone. I don't. Panettone. 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 Panatona. It's a panatona. <laughs> panatona. But it's a gluten-free one, and Trader Joe's doesn't always have a lot of gluten-free sweets, but when they do, they get it right. So we're going to try this. It says, with raisins and orange peel. So I'm kind of thinking it's just going to be like... It's like a muffin. Like a muffin, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's supposed to be cake, apparently. It's supposed to be cake. It does have traces of milk, egg, and may contain soy. But it's gluten-free. But it's gluten free, which is my main concern. And then dairy free. Ooh, it's 
しい。あ、ポップ。You have like a yeah. Yeah, it has a wrapper. I was like, what is? Should I get a knife? Put on. Oh, we're just okay. I'm not eating that much. I'm not either. <laughs> Going for it? Yeah, hold on. Oh, I don't like that. Not even a little bit. I don't mind it. I just like a muffin. I do not like that texture. The raisins? No, like of the cake. It's literally like, like a no. pastry. Hard pass. Like, <laughs> a, like a flaky pastry, but it's a little bit more moist. It has raisins. I don't love raisins and things unless it's like hidden, but. No, I don't like it. Zero out of ten. <laughs> I give it like a three. Like it's gluten free, and I feel like it's a. If you wanted this, this is a glu good gluten free option. I'd be really interested to see what a real one looks like or tastes like. Yeah, I mean, because I'm very like, fluffy. For I would say it's very fluffy and it almost is like kind of slimy. I like when you put it in your mouth. I don't know why I keep eating it. It's so gross to me. I think it's bad. I don't like it. I wouldn't reach for it again, but I'm not like gagging. So <laughs> the next one that I bought is a double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoon with mini marshmallows. And we brought out our Nespresso and are going to heat up the milk. It says to place spoon in an eight ounce cup of steaming hot milk. Stir until chocolate melts or and or marshmallows float about two to three minutes. That's gonna be a long time. But it's just a cute little like wooden spoon with almost like a little brownie of chocolate and marshmallows on top. So I feel like that'd be really cute to put in like a get like a work gift. Yeah, no would be cute. Or like something like a stocking, like a stocking stuffer. So we will warm up the milk and see how this tastes, how it melts. So I'm really interested. Okay, so we have our milk frothed. And warmed. And warmed. Zoom in on that steam. Yeah, it's steam hot. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Just... Out the spoon. This is a little. You go pop, and then you just like stir it. All it is is like marking up the sides. It looks like just sludge marks. Okay, I think we're good. Sure. Okay. There's only a little bit of chocolate left, and I. Don't have the patience to make it melt. Let's see. It is kind of piecey, but it's good. I think it's a good chocolate. I feel like there's not a lot, but I also feel like I like it's it. like super rich. Like it's not like, like you know, as someone who doesn't like hot chocolate. My beef with hot chocolate is it just tastes like really sweet milk. Like it doesn't taste like chocolate. It just tastes like you sugar. You're wrong then. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like that it's just sugar. But that to me tastes like hot chocolate. I'm like, yes, that tastes like chocolate that has melted and now I'm drinking it. It does. And I just had one of the marshmallows and it tastes like the Swiss Miss marshmallows that like mm. aren't aren't real marshmallows. Like yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't imagine these would be real marshmallows. I think survive. it's good enough to add in like a present, but I wouldn't, or like a, you know, like, I mean, you're like not going to work present or something, but you're not like, oh, these are my new like Christmas tradition or Well, also like. I can imagine these are like, what, like three bucks a piece? I think it was like one or two. So as I'm like, you're not going to probably buy like seven of these and drink them all season. You're probably going to buy it for the gitchiness of it. Yeah. Yeah. But so I for think, the gitchiness, I think bad. so. Yeah. I think it's like a cute... Fun oh, kids cute. thing. Mm -hmm. I rate it. What did we rate the other one too? I rate this like a three and a half. I go three. Mm -hmm. Our next one. Can I try all of these? No, we'll okay. just try like one or two of them. I bought a taste test of caramels. Only fitness cream. I love caramel chocolate. There are certain flavors that I don't like. I hate. Uh, Salted. Salted, cho salted caramel and hazelnut. And I don't think that they're... 
there's any of that in here. But we're going to try. And it's supposed to be like a mystery, which one's which. Yeah, it's like, but which is which? And you like taste test. And you're supposed to cut it into four squares and then take a toothpick and like separate them and like. Write down your, what you think. Write it down and then you guess. So we're just going to. We're breaking every rule. Yeah, we're just going to try like two. So this is what it looks like. Cool. Ooh. Okay. So like, where does it say the answers? I don't know. Like on the bottom? Oh, uh, the bottom. Makes Dumb. sense. Okay. I want... Are we gonna like pick one and then guess what it is? Yeah. Okay. I want this one. It has like white on it. Mm, I'll do this one. Okay. It has like, it looks like coconut on it. <clears throat> Do you like coconut? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's coconut. <laughs> I think mine's like like butterscotch. It's good. Super sweet. The caramel. <laughs> A lot. Okay. Here's his butterscotch. Yeah. Mine's coconut for sure. I'm gonna say mine's butterscotch. Yours is coconut. Mm -hmm. So what's yours? Yours is coconut. Yep. Number four. Coconut. Yeah. Mine is. Maple. Hmm. Okay. I feel like that's like similar. Interesting. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I love maple, like donuts <laughs> and stuff. It was really sweet, but it's good. I mean, yeah, it's a that was really good. Chocolate. So, there you go. I think they're all gonna be good. It's a cool idea if you have like a party or something. Mm hmm. But it's COVID, really cool. so no one's gonna have a party. This is our party. Party of two. So. <laughs> The next things I bought were two advent calendars. This is just like a normal 24 day uh, small like chocolate advent calendar. And then this one is the advent of cocktail hour um, advent calendar. And so they're chocolate truffles and it's a 25 day advent calendar. But we're gonna try. <laughs> I wanna like, try it. We're gonna try the day. We're gonna try like two each, like yeah. we did with the caramels. Yeah. Um, the flavors are chocolate martini, pink champagne, liqueur de cafe, eggnog, peach bellini, and honey caramel. And I think other than the eggnog, those all sound really good. Other yeah. than I don't like the coffee. I bet coffee martini would be really good. Have you ever had an espresso martini? Mm -mm. Oh. But these do say they contain milk, soy, and wheat. And I don't know really where the wheat would come in. Maybe if like the cafe one has like Crunchies. a crunch. But we're gonna try them. I feel like this would be a really good thing to get my mom, like a parent or something. Yeah. To drink. I think it'd be cute. The only thing is that you don't really give advent calendars because no, but it's the days leading up to it, unless it's a 12 day, then that's after. So you can give 12 day calendars for Christmas. Well, I was thinking for Christmas, I was just thinking like to just get Just in her. general? Yeah. Ooh. We love the packaging. Ooh, it feels very great. Matte. Very matte. Very luxurious, great like foil action. Cute. Okay. What, what days are we opening? What day do you want to pick? Do, should we just do like top corner? Or you really want to pick like a, a random number? What's like your like 13 is like my lucky number? 25. 25 or 15. 25 or 15. Well, you gotta pick one. I don't know. Okay, let's go 15. I'll do 15. Yeah. Okay, 15 is this one. Mm. Oh, they're really small. I don't know why I expected them to be bigger. Yeah, those are tiny. See, yeah. that one looks like it has a cookie in it. Um, where's 13? 13? 13's up here. Is it pink? No, but it's like milk. Lighter. So wait, do you want to get, should we guess what they are? Or should we look? They don't say. A, no, I'm in on the back. No, they don't say. So like that's probably honey caramel. And this one's probably coffee martini. Probably. Or the liquor. Liqueur. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 
Mm. I can't tell the difference. I dig it. Mine tastes kind of coffee. But it might be honey caramel. I don't know, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's it's not it. that much alcohol in it. A great way to start off your day in December, mm -hmm. especially if you're Christmas shopping later. Spiked chocolates. Spiked chocolates. Well, I think that is all I have for my Trader Joe's taste test. Make sure that if you guys want any of these items to head out to Trader Joe's soon because they will sell out very soon. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys want to see more from me. I will be doing a variation of Vlogmas and <laughs> we'll see what other Christmas type videos I can come up with. So I will see you guys next time.